Hi everyone, welcome to our middle 2021 full paper, Stroke Lesion Outcome Prediction based on 4 DCT perfusion data using temporal convolutional networks. My name is Kimberly Amador and I'll be presenting on behalf of my co-authors from the University of Calgary and the University Medical Center hamburg eppendorf For this presentation, I'll briefly go over the motivation behind our work, as well as a proposed methodology, experiments, and results. For those who are not familiar, acute ischemic stroke is a major cause of death and disability worldwide. In order to determine the optimal treatment strategy, perfusion parameter maps are typically calculated from 4D CT perfusion data and then thresholded to localize and quantify the stroke lesion core and tissue at risk. After deep learning methods have been recently developed to predict the stroke lesion outcome using these pre-computed perfusion maps. The basic idea of these methods is to train a model using the perfusion maps and their corresponding follow-up images to automatically estimate the final lesion location and volume in new patients. Nevertheless, model training based on the original 4D CTP scans might be desirable, as these could contain more relevant information that is simply not represented in perfusion maps. Therefore, we aim to develop and evaluate a novel, high-level deep learning model that directly utilizes 4D CTP scans to predict the stroke lesion outcome, without needing to compute any perfusion maps. To accomplish this aim, we design a deep neural network composed of three modules, an encoder, a temporal convolutional network, or TCN, and a decoder. So, let us assume we're giving an input sequence with T time points. First, a series of encoders E with the same structure are built in parallel to independently map each image I of the sequence to a latent space. These latent vectors are concatenated and then passed into the TCN, which uses causal convolutions with increasing dilation to merge the temporal information across different time points available. The decoder, which has a symmetric layer structure as a single encoder, uses the output vector of the TCN to reconstruct the, to reconstruct the image, to finally predict the probability of infarction at each voxel. This TCN is the key component of our project. TCNs are a variation of convolutional neural networks that have shown promising results in other medical image analysis problems, but they just have never been applied on acute stroke data. They make use of causal convolutions, dilated convolutions, and residual connections to hierarchically combine information from neighboring images. They are less computationally expensive and less memory intensive than conventional CNNs, and therefore, they are ideal for training on large time series data such as 4D CTP scans. So, a total of 178 CTP scans from multiple centers were used to develop and evaluate the proposed model for a stroke outcome prediction, each of which has a registered follow-up scan and a corresponding lesion segmentation available. Using this data, we performed two experiments. One, to explore the effect of the time window size on the model performance, and two, to investigate the added predictive potential of raw 4D CTP data compared to perfusion maps. For the first experiment, three models were trained using various sequence lengths, eight time points, 16 time points, and 32 time points. For comparison purposes, we also trained a standard encoder-decoder architecture like UNIT based on perfusion maps. The predictive performance of the models was evaluated using the dissimilarity coefficient, an absolute volume error between the predicted and ground truth lesions. The highest dice score was achieved by the 32 time point model, followed by the 16 time point, n time point, and then finally the model trained on perfusion maps. Using a paired sample t test, a significant difference was found between the 32 to time point model and the rest of the models. So the dice value achieved by the 32 time point model is within the range of previously published results, although it is not directly comparable due to different experimental setups and databases. These are some of the resulting predictions for subjects in the test set. The lesion outcome predictions are overlaid in orange on the follow-up scan, and the ground truth is outlined in blue. These results show both 
qualitatively and quantitatively that using longer sequences improves the outcome predictions, and therefore we can assume that the proposed architecture allows for an improved utilization of the spatial temporal information available in CTP datasets, especially when compared to using simple perfusion maps. In this study, we propose a novel deep learning network for predicting acute ischemic stroke outcomes directly from 4D CTP data. Our future projects will focus on improving the model performance while generating treatment-specific predictions. This could potentially enhance the clinical decision-making process and thus the prognosis of acute ischemic stroke patients. Thanks for listening.